Hello everyone, this is your friend SG and this is the last part of our React Native movie app where we are going to complete the movie app. So some minute details are left. We are going to complete them in this part. So till now we have created the home screen where we get to see all the trending movies, the trending people and the carousal as well. So in the last part we created the details screen as well. So here we can see the details of the movie. So these are the movie details which we can see. We see the overview, title, budget, duration and genre as well. Along with that we added the feature for link as well. So if the movie has this link then we are going to display this link as well. So now we are going to display the cast and the similar movies here in this part okay. So without any further ado let's begin the video. Okay, now in order to display the similar movies and the casts, let's see one thing. So the similar movies will be in UI, they will resemble the trending movies. So what we can do, we can customize this trending uh, trending movies component and use this particular component only. Okay, so this trending movies component, let's navigate to there, trending movies. So if we see here, there are two different variables. First variable is the movie title that we need to pass as the prop. Another is this URL, this uh, the URL from which we are going to get the movies. This is also a variable. So what we can do from this home, we can pass them, them as the variable. So we'll pass title as well and we'll pass the image URL as well. Okay, so let's just copy that. So this will be the image URL. So let's just cut it from here and paste it here and the title will be trending movies trending is okay I have passed them now here I am receiving the props so the, uh, this will be props.url the URL that I need to fetch the data from and the title will be props.title okay so now the let's see trending movies seem to work fine now what we can do from the movie details screen after this genre we can call that component as well so trending movies we can call that component passing the title let's do one thing import that component first import trending movies from trending movies okay so this is imported now we need to pass three different props okay first is navigation title and the url okay so let's start with title so the title will be similar movies similar movies now we have to pass the navigation as well so how are we going to get the access to navigation it was props.navigation so props.navigation now third thing we need to pass the url so the url will be uh, let's add it in parenthesis okay so the url will be whatever we use it will be movie slash movie id it was props.route.params.movie id slash similar because we need to get the similar movies okay so these are the trending movies oh i misspelled it trending trending movies okay so let's see let's uh, save it and we got the loading screen we got the loader we got the similar movies and we got these movies but these are hidden why because this is overflowing and we need to add the scroll view so let's directly return the scroll view okay and uh, this is not completed here so completed okay scroll view is it imported yep it is imported okay so once the loader is done we see the similar movies here okay so the movie similar to this we can see them here now let's just click on any of the movie ah clicking on any of the movie doesn't do anything why because if we see what is happening from the trending movies when we click on any of the movie we are navigating to movie details and here we are actually on the movie details. so what will happen it won't do anything because we are using dot navigate navigation dot navigate so it won't navigate because we are on the same screen we are on the movie screens movie details actually so it won't navigate the user to anywhere else i we know that the id is different so the data will also be different but application doesn't know that it hasn't fetched the data yet so it doesn't know that the data will be different so what we need to do instead of props.navigation.navigate we need to use navigation.push in the trending movies. 
so each time it will push the route each time when we click on the movie it will push the route no matter whether the routes are same or not see now it pushed that out so we got the cargo movie here details and the similar movies so let's click on some other similar movie so let's click on black widow and it is pushed now so each time the routes are pushed but now as i said that the routes are getting pushed so we need to uh, navigate back from there okay yes so yep so here we can see the similar movies okay so now the similar movies are done now another uh, now the another part comes for the cast okay so uh, the trending movies we don't need that anymore so now the movie details again so we can use the trending people as well so where is this component so this was the component for trending people these people okay so again similar to that we have two variables the url and the title so we are going to pass those here so inside the trending people let's pass the title so the title will be trending people and again let's pass the url so the url is this one i'll cut it out and paste it here okay so here i'll receive the props and the url will be props.url okay seems good and uh, where is the title this is the title trending people so i'm going to pass props dot title okay so let's just save it and see okay so the cast here is working properly fine we are seeing all the cast here so this component works fine now so inside the movie details we can call the same component only okay so let's click on any of the movie detail and from here let's call the same component trend trending people component and we need to pass the same thing so the title will be this time the title will be cast c a s t cast uh, cast and the url so what will be the url url will be slash movie slash movie then the movie id props dot route dot params dot movie id and then slash credits so credits so this will be the url of the movie or uh, movie cast okay so we are seeing two loaders we see the cast and still it's loading so it's the trending movies similar movies okay we see the similar movies we see the cast here but we didn't see the data so although we can see the data here but for the trending movies we can't see any of the sorry not for the trending movies on the details page we cannot see any data here we are seeing the cast title which means that the trending people component is loading but we are not seeing the data why so the issue is here we are storing it as data dot results okay but when we get the cast we get it in a different way so let's simply console dot log the data that we are getting okay it's not this time it will be not data dot results it will be something else okay let's see so where is the data data so okay it's results here so here it's saying that the resource could not be found so let's see what's the issue so uh oh okay okay so here we miss the slash here hyphen okay so let's see so here we see the cast details so these are the trending people okay so these are these trending people now let's click on any of the movie so we clicked on this ddlj and uh, what's it giving me uh it's still loading ah it gave me cast okay so let's see it gave me the data but let's see what this data actually is okay so see this is the cast so what we are doing let's see now okay so inside the trending people we are storing data dot results but from the cast we are not getting the results we are not getting the results attribute we are actually getting cast okay so now that's why we were not getting any display any data here so now what we can do we can pass a third prop based on which we can check the data so we can pass uh, is for page okay and it will be details okay so let's use this prop so inside the trending people what we'll do in the set people we'll use props dot is for page if this is details page okay if it is details page then i need to store data dot cast otherwise i need to show data dot results so let's just save it and okay let's see 
does it displays us anything let's navigate to any movie it's Shawshank Redemption and uh, so we are still not getting any data why so so now this details is correct and this for page this details is also correct here oh okay so instead of passing it to trending people we pass it to trending movies that's the wrong place so let's just pass it to trending people and let's just move to another, another movie so it is the godfather let's navigate to that and let's see so it's in the loading phase and now we got the cast yeah bang so we got the entire movie cast and we are also getting the similar movies and we are also getting the entire details we are also getting the movie link as well and on the home page as well we have a lot of other details we have trending people this week we have trending movies we have a carousal as well and clicking on any of the movie inside the carousal navigates us to that particular movie as well so there are a lot of details in this movie app and it took us long to complete this app so i guess hope i am hoping that you all are also creating this movie app with me so if you like the app if you have created this you can uh, share this app with any of your friends they also get to know that you are making all of such beautiful stuff and if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comments or you can ask me on instagram or telegram you will find the links in the description and for the source code you can refer to github i have added the link to the source code github repo in the description as well okay you can check that out so this is it for this video and with this we complete our react native movie app hoping that you all love this app and this took a lot to build this app so this is it for this video thank you tata bye bye